As one of the greatest tennis players of all time, Martina's used to being center court, although she's perfectly happy on the sidelines during The Real Housewives. But tonight, she's back in the spotlight to answer my questions about how she got here. Um, Martina, how old were you when you first realized you were more than just pretty good at tennis? 16, I think. Uh, in light of your tremendous success, how did you keep yourself from getting a huge ego? Or did you? How do you know I don't have one? I know. <laughs> Does she? No. Uh, sometimes, rarely. Yeah. No, I, I don't suffer fools gladly. I really uh, am allergic to ignorant people. Yeah. Uh, and I'll let them know. Um, um, so. What do you consider to be the toughest match you've ever played? Jeez. Uh, I think my rivalry against Chris has to be. We played 80, 80 times. and You uh, and Chrissy Everett played we each played other 80 times. 80 times. Right. What are the stats of those um, 80? Well, I started out in a bit, bit, bit of a hole because I was still 16 when I first started. Okay. She was much, much better, so it took me a while to catch up. I ended up with an edge 43 to 37. Wow. But most of those matches, we were number one, number two in the world, and most of them were in the finals. So That's that incredible. Yeah. She recently announced she was yeah. um, battling cancer. How is she doing? She's hanging in there. as She's a champion on and off the court and keeping fingers crossed. She had given me this necklace for my 60th birthday, so... I'm, I'm, you know, holding on to it. She'll be all right. She's, she's, she's tough as good. As That's not, I love your friendship. Yeah. It's wonderful. Um, did having sex the morning of a big match help or hurt <laughs> your headspace? Uh, I think I usually did it the night before. Night before. <laughs> yeah. Did and you it ever hit definitely a point? helped. <laughs> it helped. Did you hit a point in your career where the stress or pressure became too much and you considered retiring early? Uh, I was burned out in 86. I didn't realize it for a few years. And uh, then I kind of rediscovered the love of the sport and played until I, I the body just said, uh, the body was actually OK, but the mind said, yeah, you know, uh, anyway. According to your website, you've won a total of over $21 million in prize money mm. from competitive tennis play. What's the dumbest thing you bought with your first big, pay, big, first big winnings? Uh, it wasn't dumb, actually. I was with my mom uh, and won, like, Three thousand dollars, and I bought a bracelet for two hundred bucks for both both of us. Uh, so it wasn't dumb; it was the sweetest, actually. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here, and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.